What's going on guys, Davis Visuals here, and I'm an editor who edits for multiple people at the same time every single week it feels like, and one of the big things for me is I wanna be able to export a video but still work on a video while it's exporting. And the way that I do that is using all Adobe software. Um, if you have Adobe, the package deal, the Creative Cloud, then you'll have this. So I use Premiere to edit, and then I jump over to Media Encoder to export. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so that you can work on projects while you're rendering, or you can work on projects and know that by the end of the night, you're gonna export multiple videos while you're sleeping. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about and hopefully it helps you guys. Let's check it out. All right guys, now we're in Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's just say that I have three different projects going and I'm editing a wedding video here, I'm editing another wedding video here, and as you can guess, another wedding video here. Now let's say I need to finish number one because the client needs that as soon as I wake up in the morning and maybe number two is due at the exact same time. Well, instead of exporting number one in Premiere and waiting for it to be done and staying up all night, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw this thing into uh, to Media Encoder. So what you need to do is you need to go into the video that you're working on and go to the very last frame that you wanna show. Click on O for an out point and then go to the beginning and click I for end point and then hit Command M. What that'll do is that'll bring up the export settings and then you can go in and set these settings to whatever it is that you want Let's say I want to do a match source. Uh, this video really isn't going over render uh, quality, but let's just say that you just do match source just for this example. Now, instead of just hitting export and then exporting in Premiere, you'll actually hit this button right here where it's the queue. So once you do that, it'll actually take a second or two and it'll open it up here in Media Encoder. And let's jump to that right now. There you go, perfect timing. So while it's in Media Encoder, you have a few options. You can actually go into the settings and change settings uh, based off of maybe you've changed your mind on something. Like I can click up here and say, uh, maybe I don't want to do match settings. Maybe, so uh, let's change this to 4K, right? So now I can click on that, go through the settings just like it was in Premiere, hit OK. And now it is in here. And all I got to do is hit this Start button. And it'll actually begin. But the example for this video is that I can do multiple edits at the same time. So let's jump back into Premiere. And let's go over here to the second project and do the exact same thing, I and O. And then Command M to send that into uh, the export settings. And then we'll hit the uh, Q here again. And let's see here. And three, two, one, there you go. So basically it now has made it to where there's multiple videos that need to be exported. And you can actually change the output file to be in the same spot if you wanna find it later. I would suggest doing that so that in the morning when you wake up and you're tired, you actually you know, know where everything's at. But basically the whole point of this video is to show you that you can export these videos while working on something else. So here we go. So now I just hit the start button and now it's began down here, as you can see, it's going through, it's exporting. And then I can go back to Premiere and I can actually work on other things. So I can go through here, you know, look at some, some footage and uh, you know, it will slow your computer down just a little bit, depending on what kind of specs your computer has. So I always suggest, you know, doing every edit that you can possibly do and then at the very end of the night, hitting this button while you're sleeping. That way it's all done, it's all good. And as you can see, this video is now, uh, or these, these files have now been rendered or exported out. And uh, that, yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's it. That's how I do my exporting and that's how I export multiple videos at the exact same time so that I could still work on other things. It's a big deal to me because back in the day I used to edit a video and I'd be really pumped to get to the next one, but my computer might take three or four hours to do that. And for four hours, now I am no longer in the mental state to edit. And it just takes me out of the zone. So when this happened for me two years ago, when I found out Media Encoder existed, it changed everything. Cause now I can export something at the same time I'm working on something in Premiere, or I can save them all up to the very end of the day like I usually do. And uh, I can export everything at night and know that when I wake up in the morning, all of my files will be exported. And that might not seem like a big deal, but if it's two in the morning and you know that you have to export the video you're currently working on on top of the next video that you need to get done by tomorrow morning before you wake up, you don't want to have to stay up three to four extra hours that night. You want to just hit export and take care of both videos. Two clients are happy. Now you're going to have a great day and that, that's a huge deal. So go ahead and check out Media Encoder and I hope that this video taught you something. My name is Davis Visuals. If you like this video, hit like. Subscribe, let me know what you think. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button two times and be ready for the next videos. I'm gonna have a lot more coming out every week. There's gonna be something new coming out. So subscribe and you know, stay tuned for that. I'll talk to you guys later. My name is Davis Visuals. Take care.
Did you just watch this video and not subscribe? Come on, man. I don't, what are you, what are you doing?